you had VHS and Beta, right. and they were both competing. Uh -huh. Everybody thought Beta was going to win because that was the superior one at that right. time, but it didn't work out that no, way. It didn't. Casa Video carried both formats when it first opened back in 1983. Obviously, VHS won out, and Casa Video has been changing with the times ever since. Gayla Schwab and her brother turned their love of classic movies and a background helping run their dad's movie theater back in Iowa into one of Tucson's first video stores. I think it was about a year after we opened up that the first blockbuster opened up just down the road from mm -hmm. our Grant and Campbell location. Yeah. But Tucsonans supported the local business, Casa Video. By 1985, they'd outgrown the Grant and Campbell location and they moved to the current location on Speedway near Country Club. The business expanded, the format changed to DVDs, and the number of movies grew. Actual titles are probably around maybe 50, 60,000. An impressive library for sure. The Casa Video outlasted Blockbuster and Hollywood Video, and they're now one of the estimated 100 video stores left in the country. Gala says they feel lucky to still be around, but she also acknowledges a couple of things they've done right during the last 36 years. We've always tried to be on the cutting edge of anything new coming out. Our free popcorn has always been a big hit. <laughs> Actually, my brother uh, dragged our old popcorn machine, which is upstairs right now, not in use. So when our theater uh, went under, he brought that popcorn machine all the way back to Tucson, and we had it in our original location at Grand Campbell. They purchased a new popcorn machine when they moved locations, and they've been delighting fans with the salty yellow treat ever since. It's become part of the Casa Video culture. Part of American culture now is streaming movies. While that's done in most video stores, Casa Video changed with the times again. So that's when we, we started thinking, well, what, what could we add to the, to the store? And Gayla's son came up with the craft beer bar concept a couple of years ago, and it took off. It was, it, it was more successful than we, than we thought it would right? be, actually, in the yeah. beginning, yeah. Now crowds gather most nights and watch movies, play games, take part in trivia nights, enjoy various food trucks, plus local restaurants will deliver food as well. And the bar includes local beers from across the state. It's pretty cool because you get, uh, you get the feel of like an old school sort of video store with different movies, random movies playing all the time and good drinks and good people. Are we having a good time, guys? Yeah. yeah. And you can't say no to the free popcorn. There's no telling what's next for Casa Video, but it continues to be a successful local business with an important responsibility to the past. You know, that's why I think it's important that people recognize the, the value of the video stores and support them. They're really uh, libraries of film that, that should be around for, you know, for a long time so right. people have access to all the movies that they might want to watch. Well, I want to thank you very much for the tour, Gayla. It's been a sure. pleasure, and Castle Video has always been one of my favorites, and it is absolutely Arizona. Thank oh, you. Thank you.